Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to another video. So, this video is a suggested video by my friends. They asked me that how you made that black and white portrait, which I uploaded on my Instagram and Facebook account a few days ago. So, this is the tutorial of that photo. So, without further ado, let's go in the intro. Okay, so first thing first, you need a picture like this. Uh, normal formal type of picture not a fancy type and then you have to open this picture in the Photoshop just like this and then cut out the subject from the picture and in this case I'm using the magnetic lasso tool you can use any tool which you like Okay, so now the subject is selected. Now you have to open a new image. The width should be 2400 and the height should be 3000. And leave the background to white. Okay. So basically, this is a standard resolution of a portrait. Then select the magic wand tool, select this whole thing, and then click backspace. So this thing will pop up and then click on this and then color so and select the black at the corner and click OK and that is what we are gonna use as a background of this image. Now I'm gonna give a feather to this image uh, I'm selecting the 5 so now I'm gonna refine the edges by clicking on the refine edges alright so now just uh, use this brush around the edges of your hair so it will clear up your hairs and they will look better like these stuffs are like kind of finishing to your selection so that will look good then click ok And then you click on select button, drag this from here to the new image and press ctrl plus T to transform it, make it smaller, adjust the size whichever you want. I am making it big because this is a portrait and a portrait requires a close up shot so that's why I am making this image big. So now that the size is done I am going to centralize this image then so for that press ctrl plus A then click on select and press on this button and then deselect it. And then I am dragging it up because I want that type of look. Then click on the eraser tool. Select this brush and uh, size uh, size should be small and hardness should be zero. Alright, so zoom in and what you have to do is just erase the edges of this image of the subject basically, just like this. So it will give a look of like it will give a look that the subject is blended in that background so it will not look like it is fake and like you just put it the image over there it will give it a look that it is blended in the background so that will give it a realistic look. I know my hairs are looking weird so I will fix them later in in this picture so yeah and right now uh, I'm gonna click on this black and white tool and in this black and white tool you only have to play with the red and yellow that's what we need so drag the red in the left hand side and the yellow basically you have to choose this by yourself because what is looking better on your image I don't know so yeah that's what I'm like I'm adjusting these settings according to my image so 
you while doing your image editing just look it look at your image and just adjust the setting whichever you like so guys then select the layer 1 which is your cutout and then click on the image adjustment and curve or you can press ctrl plus m that is a shortcut and then click, go to the red and drag it down so it will just blow the shadows that will look good like just look at this now it is it creates a dramatic look to image that looks very good and i kind of like that so that's why i'm doing this and then go to green drag this down just try to create a dramatic look to the image that will make your image better and then select blue and change the settings according to your need in this case i'm gonna drag this upwards a little bit a little bit and then i'm gonna select rgb and drag it a little bit down so it brings more detailing to the image And now as I said I have to like uh, fix my hair so now I'm gonna do that uh, in your images uh, you don't have to do this or even in your in the first time you can select this brush which I'm using right now which is the third one and uh, like do this if you have any problem with the image like the hairs are messy and the other things you can fix them yeah use doing by doing experiments with your picture that will make you creative and you can fix the problems in the image so right now i am gonna select this image hardness is zero size and then start using this eraser around the edges of your subject just like this i'm doing that right now basically i'm using this eraser to give it a effect that the subject is actually there it shows the reality of the picture so that's why it is very important to do but if i don't do that it will look like you pasted an image on that so yeah that will not look good all right so as i said during the picture just adjust your image again and again so so you can get a better look and now you have to go to the gradient tool so you have to click on gradient tool go there and select this one and then you have to you adjust the angles according to your image i think in my case the 90 degree is good so yeah i'm going to go ahead and adjust that to 9 okay so here is done and then click on the gradient tool in the layer here and then select the gradient tool go there click on this one and then drag it down as you can see there is a, a more detailing on your face basically it removes the darkness from your face so yeah now it is your face is more brighter and like it looks better than before and i'm gonna fix my hairs again like you don't have to do this again and again just do it uh, on the first time i'm doing this again because while editing this picture i found something that that do not look good so i just cleared that and fixed that so that picture looked great and now i'm gonna use brush tool so i'm gonna select this brush and uh, size should be this big and uh, the color should be black and make a new layer and then just do like this and the reason why i'm doing this because it will give a effect of vignette to the portrait which will uh, make it look more better a little bit on the hairs and now i'm gonna decrease the opacity of this layer to around 60 and yeah that's kind of looking great and now to save this image like file save as and then select jpg file i'm gonna give this image name b and w black and white and the uh, maximum file because it gives you maximum quality that's what i prefer in my every video well that picture looks dope no god no god please no 
So if you make a picture like that, make sure to tag me because I am interested to see that. And also make sure to follow my Instagram account and Facebook account. Both links are in the description. So go and check them out. And the intro which I used in the beginning of this video was made by Ashutosh Yadav. So shout out to him. And his Instagram account is in the description. So go and check him out. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, I'm waiting for your suggestions. And I hope to see you guys in another one. Please make sure to click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to get the future notification of every post.